<laughs> that didn't get on air, but uh, yes. So it was. I was so close. Every week you try to trick me, and every week I thwart you. Now I've learned. Yeah, yeah there, there you go. So hi, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, so tonight Anna could not be on, and so I decided to recruit a couple other TFL peers, uh, for the show. Uh, and I've, peers? I've, I've ran out of, uh, figures myself, so I said, oh, maybe, maybe we should do another BotBot Bot show, because, you know, I don't collect that trash. Oh my God. What? You do, though. <laughs> I do, no, I, I do. hand-delivered a large bag of them to your sons over the summer. Mm. That is true. That, that is true. That's real life. Well, yeah. See, I don't collect it. My my kids do. So. Yeah, that's not the same thing. Not at all. Same as same for Cyberverse. I don't collect Cyberverse. It's my kids. Oh, bot bots are the best. Yeah, bot bot bots are cool. Um, so yeah. So tonight I am joined by Sean. Hoy hoy. And uh, got a little Paul. Hello, Heidi Ho. And then, of course, Christian. Hello. Hi. Like, I already did my intro. Yeah, it's Everyone knows who I am. So, it's just not yeah. the same without Anna. <clears throat> right? It's there's, much better, right? There's no calculation Ooh. king. <laughs> so. Shots calculation fired what? Everywhere. <laughs> We're talking about bot bots, so series yeah. Four take it is... on. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and okay. just sit back here and and uh, you you do your thing, Christian. Thanks. I'm gonna do my thing. You know, once every <laughs> three or four months or so. It's nice. All right. So, welcome to Bot Bots Day once again. So, series four of Bot Bots is out now. It's uh starting to hit saturation. Blind packs are hitting stores. The game machine there's a claw one and a vending machine one that those are hitting targets now and the five packs and eight packs are on amazon now sean's showing you guys the uh which one was that the claw machine or the other one this is a claw machine claw machine and this is the other one i don't know what that one is it's just like a gumball machine a gumball machine okay cool well, yeah, when you, when you say store, it's hitting stores. It's pretty much two retailers, right? That carry bot bots directly. Yeah, uh, no sign of Walmart picking them back up, but they're in the middle of resets, so <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Target it. has them right now, and Amazon has them right now. It seems like um, Walmart has abandoned everything Transformers that's less than twenty dollars, except for the Cyberverse Warriors. Which they yeah, that's a weird situation. Which they just sell at wholesale for some reason. Like they're eleven bucks at every Walmart you go to. It's insane. Yeah. It's bizarre. Because bot bots are the best line that's going on right now. So this is a gash well, upon the uh, The thing I think it's just weird because uh does Walmart carry the other stuff like that, like uh gro- grocery gang or um I don't know, whatever. Yeah. That kind of junk. Shopkins. Shopkins. I think yes. Granted, so. it's probably been about three months since I've been to a Walmart. Yeah, Walmart sells all sorts of like tchotchke stuff, like really l- low quality or low price toys that you know are more affordable than you know your average Transformer. It's it's weird that they got rid of the bot bots. I mean, didn't you at one point surmise that it might be because they were like easy to steal? Yes, I, I think that had a lot to do with it. I wouldn't be surprised if like that, you know, struck a struck a nerve and they're like, Nope, not doing this anymore. Yeah, and with series four we're seeing that those tearaway flaps that were in series one through three are gone. So now you've got to actually get a knife or something and cut into the bubble to get your bot butt out of the package. It's less fun. But I definitely agree with that move. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I would walk into Walmarts or Targets and see just discarded packages of single pack bot bots, or even even ones ripped out of the multi packs. You know, just yeah, I saw that a lot too. Trash. That must be like a Chicago, North Carolina thing. (laughs) I have never seen any discarded packages at the store. 
Yeah. Or, yeah. or, or even open. A few bad awesome. apples. Just takes a few bad apples. I, I don't feel like it's as bad here either with uh, people like returning the figures with the wrong figure in it. The figure swapping? The figure swap thing. Like, I haven't seen that as bad. I don't know, Sean, on, on your side of town, have you seen that? or? No, I've seen some in the uh, local collector's group, though. They'll find them. Like, somebody somebody put the the... Walgreens are an older way of a Fantastic Four and the newer Fantastic Four boxes and return all of them. So they have the new figures and they got rid of the old ones. I feel like don't, it, don't that's almost that. like an escalation thing. Like people get excited when they see their repacks spread across the internet and they're like, ooh, I'm going to do it again. Because it gets more ridiculous as yeah. time goes on. And it's, it's sad. I really hate that. Like, no one should do that. Well, there, there was somebody I saw like online that literally repainted figures to look more like the the ones that were actually in the pack, and you're like, who's going to the trouble to customize? I mean, it's, it's so not like it was effort. a great, but but yeah, still, like it seems crazy. <clears throat> All right, if you if you can't afford toys, don't buy toys. Okay, yeah. ser- serious yeah. question, Christian. Why does this guy have a tail? Because he's a dragon? Oh, he's a dragon. Really? Or some sort of scary monster? He doesn't look like a dragon. What's the name, Christian? He's missing the That's Sugar Breath, but he's from Series 3, bro. You need Milton from Series 4. He's the repaint. Does he have a tail? Yeah. Yeah. He's not Which is hilarious that you mentioned that, because I just was playing with it, and I was like, what is this? (laughs) Dragons need snouts. Yeah, it's like it's like okay, what is this tail back here? The one I really want to know is what is this? This is Snorg the Conqueror. He's in the what is this team called? The Retro Replays. So that's like older seventies and eighties technology. I don't know what this is. I imagine he's he just like a big like bruiser monster. You know, it's he's a like robot. yeah, he's, he's a big robot. Into the the eighties, whatever it is. <clears throat> Christian, you just started to get into Rock player? Lord, so you should know about random stuff trying to look you know, like I other think, stuff. I think I'm going to be out of Rock Lord. <laughs> well, I know you can, three now. you can sell them too. That's true. All right, so another thing about Series 4 that has people going crazy is that we've abandoned the Lost Bots, and Lost Bots used to be the blind pack, or the, the blind section of the 5 and 8 packs. And now it's not just. Anyway, I'll get to it. The lost bots are gone, and we now have the winner circle bots. They are gold. I love and gold. Everyone's freaking out because they're so rare. They're not. Oh. They're just as common as any other bot bot. But in a lot of cases, they are taking the spots of the lost bots as far as what, what their what the mystery figure is in the multi packs. Not all the time. And on each one, sometimes it's you know just somebody from another team. We saw a little bit of that in season three, but series three, and now uh, in season four, series four. I keep doing that. So I got a question for you because you know I was asking you. So do you can you guarantee which packs have a Goldie in it? Yes, now I can. You can. Okay, so it is like they are still consistently packaged in the blind yep. spots. Yep. It's not an issue. How many gold ones are there? Eight in the series. There's been an additional three that were shown in the uh, promo video that are not in this series. It'll be later. So where are you finding Series 4 at? Because the only ones I found were those claw machine ones. I, I have Deja Vu. There's a glitch in the Matrix. Dude, it's three times. I don't know what's up there. Um, I found my blind packs at Target before Christmas. Paul actually found a bunch for me and sent them to me, and I found the rest here in Raleigh. And then the multi-packs are on Amazon. So I got three of the five packs for Christmas from my family, and I bought two eight-packs last week, and when they went up. I've not seen any multi-packs at retail yet, not even the uh, game machines yet. Well, should we get into the game machine pack? Open her up, Buttercup. Let's do it. So, I was going to say, the thing that's annoying about Amazon, though, is like, okay, if you can find them at Target, 
you can shuffle through the various packs, right, to try to find the one you yep. want. But, like, on Amazon, you just have to, like, hope they send you the right one or the one that you want. Yep. Or you got to find some secondary retailer that sells them individually. Oh, yeah. Who, who's uh, Is there a secondary retailer that does that? I've heard maybe Collecticon or... I don't know anyone. Yeah. That was actually cool, Sean. Like that it actually really cool. rolls down. Well, I found out that if you uh, just pull the whole tab out, they just keep rolling down. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> and I guess there's it's perforated here, so you gotta break the seal to open it up. But it's not that hard to open. Okay, first oh, one. So cool. I'm surprised I haven't seen any of those. So open. this is why each pack costs twenty bucks because of these little bubbles. That Are they little... heavy duty like you would actually find in a gumball machine or Yeah. It's like the plastic's thicker than what's inside. Oh my god, it's a pokeball. You know, that might be how I can recoup some money is repaint these as pokeballs and sell them. Okay, so here is a uh, $3.33 sticker. <laughs> is that a no B.O. and Stinkosaurus? It is, that's... and he's rubbing him yeah. on yeah. with the stain. Oh, well, that's he, helpful, It's like he doesn't really want to put him on there. And it's like no, it's like no B.O. doesn't really want to be there either. So how Nick. many stickers That's are there fun. supposed to be? There's like, four little... stickers in each of those things. Yeah, there's... No, but I'm saying, how many stickers, like... And are you trying to collect the stickers, too? Like, are um, you going to try and complete yes. all the stickers? I'm assuming there's 16 stickers. Or so. That sucks. <laughs> Sorry, Bob the Bob. same four in each one. I don't really know what's going on here. Can't see it well enough to help out. On the right is D pad Chad. Those are the spoiled rottens, aren't they? One yeah. of them is Arcade Renegade. The 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 drink it's that uh, hippie drink. The uh... Uh, he's in the first squeezes. I forget what his name is. Yeah. And there's some gold that's a banana? I think it's oh, a bit That is Peels the Monkey. Yep, that's who it is. Well, that's a and new one, is, right? This is a new one from Series 4, and probably the worst one of the wave. Really? <laughs> Milton! What's Milton. up? Got a Milton. What's up? <laughs> there is an actual the toy in this pack. Wow. Ow, man, these, these, uh, these clasps, you better have some strong females. Here's another sticker. I wonder if the stickers are randomized or not. Probably not. Uh, I bought a whole case, so I'll find out. And this guy's writing peels. <laughs> I wonder what guy Wait. that is. How do we check the comments on this particular... Are, are, uh, are there any? Uh, they should be on Facebook. It, it's oh. on the tftalk.net Facebook page. All right. So yeah. I'll take Anna's job and do that Nick. Uh, sorry i i haven't been like talking the about the oh, comments that's Blue I Ray I should, right? oh that's a cool one yeah i don't have that one yet uh, yeah, so, that, 3d glasses yeah. so tony wants to know why there's no bot bots cartoon christian i have no idea there needs to be or there should yeah comic. i agree i'm working on that don't don't worry I mean, the only I'm thing I could think of is, is like they have that Rescue Bots Academy show. So I mean, that kind of there's your Transformers show for kids, I guess. They did do the animated, I guess, announcement promo video when Series One came out. I would like to see more of that style because it was really fun. Uh, if they could just do a couple shorts that they released online every couple months, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. We we did get those stop motion ones with uh, Siege figures at Christmas time. That was really good too. Yeah. Yeah, I could Thanks. see I could see Bobot's content as like 
small digestible mm-hmm. like mini videos or something. Yeah, really, I would take the animated ones, or I would take the stop motion ones, or both, really. Oh my god! Yeah, so, I, I do think so creative. I do think having Bob Boss interact with regular Transformers is kind of funny. Like the stop motion, the Christmas one was pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, those were cute. That's the cobbler. So the cobbler, he doesn't make shoes. What's and his yet, name? The baker. Skitter chatter. Skitter chatter. Right. Yeah, they got really creative in Series 4 with, like, the teams. Just which teams they're going to do. Yeah, a lot of new teams are making their first appearance in Series, series 4. And the Magic Tricksters. Oh, Gold. That's uh, Gold Dexter. Gold uh, Team. The... <laughs> crazy. So new teams are the Magic Tricksters, the Movie Moguls, the Retro Replays. Uh, Los Deliciosos, Los the Wilderness Troop, the Science Alliance, and the Home Rangers. I just got this guy out of the uh, Lawn League. That's the repaint. That's a uh, snotty stem. They're Still not the same, not Sean. They're not the same, Sean. They sure look the same. <laughs> one costs 20 bucks. one costs 3 Three thirty-three. Or used to. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I think we've all felt like that after a long night out. <laughs> Oof. It's grumpy, clumpy. He's definitely more than grumpy right there. Yeah, that's cool. I like the artwork. The artwork is cool, but I don't think I'll be sticking them to anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm just curious if, you know, Sean, like if you had bought those, uh, one of these packs, you know, for your kids. Like, would you have been upset in spending twenty dollars on that? I'm upset at spending twenty dollars on that for myself. Yeah. Like the only redeeming quality is that um, Shane likes to take my extras. Yeah. So there's that, and he likes to, you know, go through go through. He'll come down here and play, and he'll go through my bot bots and play, and uh, yeah. pull out all the other stuff and play. Yeah, no, my my kids really like them. All right, there's the one from the Lawn League. There's the repaint. So the Lawn League one has the color change paint on it. Yeah, I don't have much luck with the color change paint. It seems like it doesn't really change. How about you, Christian? Have you had luck with the color change? I've not been able to get him to do it. I've heard it takes a lot of heat to do it. I'll throw them in the oven and see what happens. Low torch. Yeah, let us know. (laughs) Another cool thing that Series 4 has introduced that was absent from previous series is clear plastic. What? Oh, boy. So this is Dr. Flaskenstein and Face Ace from the Science Alliance. I think they're the only two in this wave that have clear plastic, but it's here now, which is really cool. It's kind of um, a rubbery, pliable plastic, but it, uh, it holds its shape well. There he is. He's a beaker. Actually, he's an Erla Meyer flask. But... So now they have brittle plastic and GPS. It's a different kind of plastic. It's not that hard clear plastic yeah. that we're used to seeing. It's, it's like I said, rubbery and, and kind of different. So it's not fully clear, clear, but uh, it's nice. It, it, it feels de- good. Definitely stood out to me. Like the goggles guy like feels different than all the rest of them. Yep. Face ace. These goggles. Lucas, don't, you know, contain your excitement, please. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, I'll, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go take a nap. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a nap and just, just let me know when you guys are done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it may just, may just be me, but it seems like this wave has the fewest repaints from previous waves. I could be wrong. It may just be the selection I have. I've got about half of them now. No, lots it's of new molds this time. It definitely seems like there's lots of new stuff, you know. Like, here's the whoopee cushion. It's kind of fun. Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah, that's a good one. Why does yeah. the owl turn into 3D glasses or vice versa? Why not? Just Why to have an owl. do anything, man. But they're supposed to be robots, right? Smoking shrooms, smoking shrooms. I guess, not. I guess they don't have to be. 
Here's a vacuum cleaner. I mean, this one is, has a neat kind of robot mode we haven't seen before. This one's called Windbag. Well, it's funny because all these new molds are exciting, but you know they're going to repaint them two to well, three sure. times. You know, and I and I always, I'm always really impressed with some of their redecos and like how they really change. All they got to do is change a face and the colors, and it does feel like a whole new dude. Yeah, this is uh, worldful. And it's a repaint of Splatter Batter from the Bakery Bites, the stand mixer. And they kind of share a similar palette, but adding an actual face to this instead of a Cyclops thing really kind of changes the character of it, and I like it a lot. Yeah, here's the old face. Yeah. And then you have stuff like, um, what is this one called? Hip Toast, which is an avocado toast sandwich i guess and <laughs> it looks like all the other you know sandwich molds which is not great yeah it looks oh like moldy oldie or whatever his name is mold witch old or balls. pb jr or angry <laughs> cheese but they changed the sriracha bottle into this green sauce bottle which is pretty great Verde. day yep swami Verde. day uh, well, it's kind of shoot. Uh, I'm just curious, like half this stuff, if kids even understand what the heck it is, or like what it's avocado not toast for us. Right. No, those are the those are the you know the jokes that don't matter, but like we catch them and it's like, right, cute. right, right, right. And it's funny, but the, they there are they are so much avocado stuff in this in these that I'm like, what are they thinking? <laughs> like, is there an agenda two, here? There's <laughs> there's two two avocados. It, it's a big avocado is trying to push her agenda. That is a samurai. Big what is he? Yeah, this is a samurai. His name is Pressure Punk, or her name is Pressure Punk. I guess I don't really know yet. They haven't they haven't published their bios online, so I don't know what the genders of these guys are yet. Uh, don't assume it doesn't matter, gender. Christian. It does matter. Uh, so the cobbler is named the cobbler, even though he's not a pie or makes shoes. Um, and he has a gun hand and a very mad face. Wow. Maybe he's a Decepticon. And then like a little leaf, a little leaf in front of his uh... cob. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> In front of his ball joint. <laughs> That's where the leaf goes. That's weird looking. Uh, you need to be on more often, Sean. Sean, uh, Sean is, that a, is, is that a ball joint or are you just happy to see me? I like him better like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, mean, awesome. I love that articulation. I wonder what they're going to repaint this one into. <laughs> yeah, well, what are what are they gonna call the the X rated bot bot group? <laughs> like <laughs> they're really running out of things to turn them into. There's, there's, at some point, that's all they can go to. There is a lot of cylindrical things. So, oh, customs bed <laughs> bedtime buddies. <laughs> there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Poor Christian. These are so pure, and you're ruining it. <laughs> oh, I know what I'm making this for. Is, a PF this is an Easter egg that kind of sucks. It's one of the new molds, and they're trying out a new transformation scheme, and it sucks. Sorry. This well, I love the Ego. season greeters, though. They're they're like the best. They're like the breakout group, I think, from the whole. Bot this bots. is in the season greeters, and it sucks. I know it is, but it's still great. Like, it kind of trans transcends um, anything to do with Transformers. It's just cool, like Christmas stuff that turns into robots that kids could play with. Like, I'll tell you, I don't know if, if you want to hear about it, but like, greeters. yeah, that's the Valentine, right? Yep. I always thought it was like the the Valentine candy heart candy, but it's a circle. Yeah, that's cool. Except, except it was the hockey. It's a <laughs> hockey puck one, right? <laughs> Yeah, See, fuck. how are they not releasing bot bots as Valentines? Like, I'm you know, like when you go to the store, huh? Did I say that a year ago? Like, when you go to the store to like get your kids Valentines to pass out for his class, right? Like, they should do bot bots. That would be awesome. Yes, Christian, is this right? I don't know. I don't know what. Like, this flips up for some unknown reason. I guess I could look at the instructions. 
it looks vaguely oh. right. You know, most bot bots, you don't need instructions for. And that's important because the individual bot bots and the multi-pack bot bots do not contain instructions anymore. All they have is this checklist. What? Yep, no more individual what? instructions. Where is the checklist? Does it come with instructions? I'm going to call your boss. No, they do not come with instructions anymore. Well, I mean, I, I kind of have a different view on bot bots because I've been selling them for over a year and uh, with actually like way more success than I would have originally thought. So like I've been buying people's lots of bot bots when they, uh, you know, they, they like will complete series one and they have like 40 extras. And so I'll just pick them up and selling them at conventions is awesome because kids just come up and like swarm your table and just play with them and play with them. And, uh, you know, it's not a big deal because they're not worth a lot, but um, it brings a lot of people to the table, which just is always good. Because then the parents are sitting there watching their kids play and they're like, oh, I want that uh, Optimus over there or whatever. You know, bot bots and milkshakes brings all the people <laughs> to the table. Well, and mo- the other thing is it, it stand- you stand out because a lot of other people didn't bother. Like a lot of other dealers did not bother, like, even well, you know- paying attention to them. That's kind of interesting because, like, I know several dealers that they'll have that kind of stuff. Like, they'll have mini bots and and whatever uh, at, at their table. But like, a lot of those mini bots are like ten bucks or whatever it might be, right? Whereas, like, a bot bot, like, how much do you sell those to kids at a convention? Is it like three bucks or two bucks or four yeah, or whatever? I think it, I kind of like when I, when I go to a show, I. I, I want to keep them organized by series at the very least. Anything that's worth like more than ten bucks individually, I will separate out. But everything else, I'll just throw in a pile. And uh, it's like I, I don't remember. Depending on what where the wind's blowing that day, it's either like three or four bucks per item. And then if you buy like a certain amount, I take yeah. a, it's more like two or two fifty. But you have to buy that bigger amount so well that's kind of cool too because like i know other conventions uh like some dealers will sell those little uh the lego minifigures you know but like this is something different like it's not it's not the same old thing so that, that's actually kind of neat idea and speaking Chris, of lego minifigures i i used to do creo the way i did the way i do bot bots now and you know creo never quite hit home for me in the way BotBots does, because, mostly because BotBots transform, and they're new characters. I mean, I didn't need a you know, 34th version of Optimus Prime in a Creo form, but do I need Face Ace for the first time? Absolutely I do. Creo transforms? No. Parts former. More than forms the parts, I mean, anyway. I have the Constructicons. You can turn them into Devastator with a few So much hate. Parts. Well, well, why don't you go ahead and do that while we're on the show? No, it took me, like, too long just to get them. Oh, the did it? I just have them in, like, a bag, like, all disassembled. Well, I got, I got a question for you, Christian. So we're, we're in Season 4 here. Like, at what yeah. point are you expecting, like, a little bit of crossover with the main brand? And, like, at what point is that okay? Is it ever Okay. I don't know that it will ever be okay. They've kind of, I mean, they're released, they're over 200 characters out now, and there's, they're scheduled to do another 100 or so. It says 190 again in uh, 2020, so that'll be nearly 400 of these by the end of the year. Wow. I think they're just too different. What I do kind of expect, and at, at least I hope, is that we'll start seeing BotBots in the Transformers crossovers line. So, like, Ectotron will get bot bot companions of a PKE meter, a ghost trap, um, yeah, stuff you know like that, that. That's not going to happen. That's too cool. That's not going to happen. Uh, it, We're going to have Masterpiece bot bots. It's going to happen. Well, I I guess, you know, the there is a distinction. Because if you want, tra- you know, known Transformers as bot bots, you got the Tiny Titans, right? That's really what you should be looking at if you want that stuff. Because those transform and they're little and they're but they're very different from bot bots. They're very different from bot bots. 
Like they're a lot. Actually, they're a lot simpler in a lot of ways. <laughs> but those Sharktacons that just came out, those little Sharktacons, like are those bot bots or are those tiny titans? Like what they, are those? They they feel more like the tiny. I think they're called tiny turbo changers. Yeah. Whatever. Power, yeah. I don't know, man. Get uh, off my back. They felt more like those than they felt like bot bots. D- different plastic, different kind of engineering, different uh, engineering philosophy, even. But what I realized when I got those is that I don't like, you know, for lack of a better term, bot botized versions of pre existing characters. I mean, the Shark Decons are pre existing characters, I guess. I didn't like seeing them turned into something, you know, like the, the new Shark Decons. Like, but this new character, new thing, new objective, I'm totally cool with it. All right, season four say. question. Season four are question. Any, are there any bot bots who have. Accessories like we had the ham with the sit with the knife, and then we had the pineapple with the knife. Do we have a not that I've gotten so far. Let me let me check my sheet real quick. <laughs> they all have yes. knives. <laughs> yes, this is liquid gold. Liquid gold is a new mold actually for the winter circle. It's a, a blender, and liquid gold has knife a shield. Oh. Wait, that was that was old, that that's the first time that's come out. Yep. Oh, wow. Cool. What, what pack? I'm sure we'll have? see like a normal blender pack packed in in series five. Yeah, it's so, the first time it's been a thing. So anyone paying attention, the sneak attack if you find the single packed wave four is you look for number one and number seven. Yes. Those are the goldies. That's what you want. Or also go to TF Wiki, and you can go to the uh, to the bot bots, and they're highlighted in green as far as which packs to buy to have the least amount of doubles. I'm pretty sure one in seven from the blind packs you need for a full set. But you know people are going crazy for the gold ones, and again, I'm I'm telling you, they're just as rare or common as any other bot bot in series four. It's not a big deal. People are well, making a big deal out of it. It's not a big deal. That's a th- again, you know, I've, t- I've sold a lot of these. I've sold a lot of those gold ones. People are willing to pay a lot more for them. It's it just because I, they're I special. Know. They're just they're they're, they're yeah. artificially special. They're cool looking for sure. They're gonna look really neat all together. It's gonna be it's gonna yeah. be awesome. But we'll we'll have winter circle bots throughout the entire year. Yeah. Uh, what's really interesting about them, I think, is that they seem to be gold versions of previous characters and I'll tell you why I think that in a minute but we haven't had same character repaints in bot bot so far at least I don't think so the guzzle rush triplets may be the same I don't think they're anyway so this is goldie rock and previously we had spots the rock and you know they can have similar names or whatever that's fine too but there's also uh, game golder <coughs> which is a, the game controller repainted from Game Over, uh, and Goldenberry Donut, which is Sprinkleberry Donut. So it just kind of seems like those same characters are now gold versions of themselves. And I wonder if they're going to have any sort of story around that in the, the promo videos or anything. But uh, uh, Gold, like uh, gold, Gold's Feratu is uh, Frost Feratu from Series 1. Uh, Sean just picked out Gold Dexter, which was Point Dexter. Yeah. It just seems like... They're the same characters, which is cool. I like it a lot. What's, just, well, what's his face? face? Yeah, what's the face look like on the original Poindexter? Um, that's the real test. Look at all those cool Studio Series toys he has back there. He's busy playing with bot bots. <laughs> yeah, we Who's need to do a Studio Series uh, show at some point. Is that the same face, Sean? No, it's not. This one is like a kind of scared Halloween jack-o'-lantern looking face almost. Ooh, yeah, it's not the same at all. Hmm. Well, I guess that (laughs) might prove me wrong, but the names are just too similar to ignore. Yeah, you might be be right, but I'm going to consider them unique characters until... Here's Hamshank. Until someone tells me not to. Hammerai. I'd rather call him Hamshank. (laughs) That's fine. Do you guys want to see my cool new shelves I put up this weekend? Yes. Sure. No. Let's take a trip. No! Uh-oh, we're getting mobile. 
Oh, no. Ooh, look at all That's that. That's normal cases. But the main event is over here. All right, how are they organized? <laughs> They're you not. You have Donkey Kong up at the top holding a barrel. <laughs> I yes. thought about organizing by series or by team, but I was like, you know, Black Mats are about fun. They should all be together. This gap in the middle is where Series 4 was before I took him down for the show. So, sorry about the gap. But here they are. You froze. Did I freeze? Oh, he's still there. No, he's still there. Uh, you're frozen on my end. That does look pretty cool, but I like the I like the uh, shot glass thing because they would probably get less dust on them, right? Over yeah, time. Yeah, but the shot glass thing became expensive, and also no one's making them for a price I want to pay anymore. Like, I paid probably 18 bucks a piece for those, and now I can't find any one in a reasonable place mm. to order them from, and what? two for the unreasonable places, they're now 45 bucks a piece. Yeah. And, and these cool. are from Ikea, right? The ones, your shelves? Yes, these are called Lustigt shelves. Uh, they're eight bucks a piece. Uh, one unit is one, two, three, four, five shelves, and the central piece in the middle. Uh huh. Dope. Do the little ladders come with it, or is that something the you? Little ladders on? do come with it, and they are adorable. The, th those actually look really neat. Yeah, it's part of the, the reason I, I decided yeah. to go with this. My options were either these or some acrylic nail polish racks, and the nail polish racks look good because they were clear, but they were like industrial. And I was like, you know, this looks wooden and more natural, and the ladders make it fun, and bot bots are about fun. So, yeah, I got these, and they were a bit cheaper too. I wonder if we can make those shelves and make it look like a mall and put like escalators instead of ladders and maybe like little I thought about parts. painting these in their next incarnation but for now I'm just happy to have them up. Mm. My bot bats have been in storage since I moved in September and uh, I'm just happy to have them out again. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I know the pain of s storing stuff away for months it sucks. Yeah, there's the new shelves. I love them. So, so what are your guys' favorite uh, bot bots of Series 4 so far? Um, of the six I have. I like the gold. Um, to be honest with you, the pencil is not my favorite mold. And of the six I have... Probably this guy just for the just because he makes me laugh. <laughs> I kind of thought that uh, the three D glasses, like I, I kind of may have to pick that Who? one up. Who? Whatever. Who? Whatever Who? that. Who? Who? <laughs> I'm a big fan of Googly Eye Pi. It's kind of a, a new, unique design. He's a pair of binoculars. The only problem I have with him is he doesn't stand very well because he's got very skinny legs is the the telescope is that one like a decepticon i kind of because once in a while they like it's very clear what their factions are is he a bad guy they don't have bad guys oh they, there's some they that... definitely don't have autobots and decepticons oh some of them have symbols on them yes yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty they rare on them, they're, in, they're like in universe marketing yeah. Really cool. Like Skills Punk, the game cartridge from Season 1, had an Autobot versus Decepticon symbol on it because it's an Autobot versus Decepticon game. Right. Oh, shit. These are real, uh, real robots Predacon? in a universe where Transformers are fictional. Mark's asking something. Is this a Predacon? This would be a Predacon. No. Yes. Maybe. Predacon. It's Megatron's uh, the rubber duck. Uh, another one of my favorites, I showed him earlier, I dropped him down, but uh, Dr. Flaskenstein. It's a fun fun mold, fun clear plastic. I like him a lot. I just love all the funny oh. names. Oh, yeah. season four, one, one that I really want is Mr. Business Esquire. He, he's like the old, like, old, like, mid-90s cell phone. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> well, that Sean, if you want one, I have two extras. There you go. Um, I might take you up on that. 
I've got about a dozen extras from the pieces I've assembled so far. I mean, that might be a better way to go than, uh, well, some of, wh which ones are just one per pack? I mean, like one, like you have to buy this pack to get them in the whole series or you don't get them. I'm not familiar enough with the list yet. I think the list came out <laughs> over the weekend because the eight packs came out over the weekend, so it's still new. I don't have it in my brain yet. Yeah. I like that pressure punk guy that you have. He looks cool. Yeah. Um, windbag seems kind of cool. Windbag is cool. And crappy. kind of a, a you know a different design for a robot than we've seen he before. He's like rung, almost. Yeah, kind of. Um, uh, I like Igoon, you know, microscope again. Could be friends with Perceptor. Yeah, I like the Los Deliciosos ones. Los All the yeah, uh, Surge oh, is actually yeah. trying to collect that whole team. Got him into bot bots finally. Ha <laughs> ha! Bam. <laughs> Also, because of an inside joke that he and I have, if he ever watches this, here's our best friend, Bretzel. Huh. No one else gets that. It's okay. It's totally fine. But he got it. That was for him. Well, the empanada one is one of the more ridiculous robot modes. He's, like, wide. You know, it's always funny. We throw our... We, like, put these toys up to the camera. It looks like complete horrible garbage because it doesn't yeah, no. ever focus. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. We're showing you awful stuff. We're trying. Now, is this considered Series 4, Christian? No. That's Series 3. But he's right here. That's a different one. They're both called Tricitrus Tops, right? Nope. The Series 3 is called Trisour Tops. <laughs> oh! oh! Ha! <laughs> How could you make that mistake, Sean? And you and call yourself a, a fan. Boy, you you dolt. <laughs> Come on. How could you? <laughs> oh. One of my favorite one favorite names so far is uh this is A Day or A Day. I guess it's supposed to sound like AJ. Maybe, but he's an apple, like an apple a day. And this is Fruit of the Looms. That's bunches. That's dude. What are you even doing, Series Three? Get Series Three out of here. <laughs> That's all I have. <laughs> this is all you I don't have deserve to be on the show. As I say, I, I, I'm out myself. I have not seen any Series Four by where I'm at, and no, I've no not ordered one. anything on Amazon. So I guess I'm just kind of to wait for Christian to send me a bunch of stuff. Like I, I like the pinata. That's donkey. cool. Zonky donkey's the pinata. He's amazing. Get him. Is he on the? Is he a blind pack or is he a, a multi pack? He's, he's a blind, blind pack. I think he's number six. He's good. He's very good. Hey, so what are you missing? If you got all those eight and five packs, like, are you just missing stuff that's exclusive to the the claw? Game? I'm missing all the claw ones, of course, and I'm missing about. 25 or 30 besides. Good lord. <laughs> Mostly I'm missing... I thought I'm you missing, had pretty much all of them. I have half of them, so... I'm missing a lot of the sugar shocks, the new sugar shocks. Man, there are a lot of sugar shocks, aren't there? I think they're the biggest team by, like, yeah. a lot. They need to be stopped. There's a Frostbetty and a S'more and More over here in these packages. Yeah, I, don't have, I don't have either of those. I mean, a fancy flutter. I think you have to get the claw packs to get all of these. Yeah, I don't have that one either. I miss his Skitter Chatter, which is exclusive to the claw packs. Zanzibar, I think, is exclusive to claw, the claw packs. Blu-ray Murray, I think, as well. I'm so hesitant to open up those packs. They just seem ridiculously expensive for as many as you get. Yeah, but I think part of it is buying the unique packaging. I mean, you demonstrated how cool it is to dispense one of those balls. Well, um, I also showed you how cool it is if you don't want to go through all that. You can just dump them out. What's even the point, them. Sean? You're they doing it wrong. You don't have to You're enjoying them. your collectibles wrong. It does almost seem like it's false advertising in a way, because I thought there were way more in that box. It, it shows six. it shows way more in this box, but almost half of them are stickers. Well, and like, why wouldn't you think the whole thing's full of, <laughs> you know, uh, more of those balls? 
Yeah, and the uh, I think I really think the reason it's so expensive is because these thick plastic containers they're in. So, so Which how many do you get nice. in there? Is it how, how many figures? There's ten. Six. Well, there's yeah, there's ten balls, six figures, four stickers. So an eight pack is fifteen dollars, right? This is yeah. the most expensive way to get bot bots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is dumb. Yeah. So. So well, I'm, you know, fun. I'll pay an extra two bucks for fun. Or yeah, five bucks for fun, whatever. Yeah, well, um, actually, you, you know, we you all know that I'm them for less than here. that. Yeah, well, that's true. But I wasn't advertising that. So, uh, do do you have any final thoughts? I know we've been going for a while and and whatnot. Do you... I'm I'm still in it. I'm still in it for all of them. I still think they're you know wonderful, nifty little toys. I don't think really anyone besides me needs to get all of them because no one besides me needs to be this crazy. But they are cute. They're enjoyable. I, I still like them. I still enjoy the hunt for them. I still enjoy the new designs, the new repaints. I, I still highly recommend every bot bot I can find except Bunches and Peels the Monkey. God, they're horrible. I feel like bot bots is great, a great thing to try to collect because it's going to end. At some point, like there's, no, it's going to be a finite collection. Bot bots forever. Well, I mean, if, if it is, that's that's great. I just I can't imagine it being longer than like five years of a toy line. But I was, really I would love to be wrong. The second year, but they could go on and make like the wonders of the world and have like a pyramid and the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And that's a great idea. Then like more yeah. adult theme ones, like work boots and uh, speeding tickets and Bad time bot- buddies. And <laughs> yeah, with you with you were saying adult themed, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and the other kind. Yeah. So we need like beer cans. Yep. <laughs> there, I would yeah. remember Paul earlier. You asked me if I would be okay if other Transformers characters became bot bots, and I said no. Uh, there's one exception. If we got a new ejector, the toaster, I'd be cool with that. Mm-hmm. How about a little vending machine that turns into a robot? Like Spencer? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh-huh. I still would like to see proper playsets for the bot bots. Not, not the. Uh, I really would like. To those see are called play Shopkins sets. playsets. <laughs> that that fridge one we've been tossing around is an idea for a while. I like that one a lot. It'd be cool if there was like a Matrix one. Or something like you know, there's some tie to the real lore at some point. I like that they haven't done it yet, but I think it would be neat. Like, you know, long time down the road to be like, hey, here's your crossover into the real Transformer land. That'd be kind of nice. I wouldn't want to see. I don't think I want to see a lot of that. But there's not a lot of things that would lend themselves to that, you know. But I think a Matrix would be great. All right, Christian, what is this? Because it's not candy corn. It's a candy corn. There's not purple, dark blue, and white. Sure it's a Decepticon corn. candy corn. Raspberry Fine. candy Decepticon corn? Decepticon candy corn. Ugh. Like, <laughs> like blue I, raspberry? Let's see if it was like a... Uh, what are those multicolor uh, popsicles you get out of the out of the ice cream truck? The red, white, and blue There you ones? go. Bomb pops. pops? Yeah, bomb pops. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think we'll probably wrap up here. Uh, tomorrow night. You were ready to wrap up before we started. <laughs> pretty much, but uh, you want to go to bed. <laughs> as I say, I'm not even on the East Coast time, so like Christian. East Coast. Yeah, Christian East Coast. all fired up. What What Bot. is that there, Paul? This is the alternative to Bot Bots. I can't see it. It's tiny. It's this is the world's. World. Smallest World's whatever. smallest piece of crap. Yeah. Is is that pretty much the like the most expensive? How no. how does that differ from what was in the Dollar Tree or whatever? You want you want to see it? Here's the one in the Dollar Tree. Here's the one that costs way more than a dollar. Oh, oh no. okay. It's so smaller. It, it is. Wor- oh, there you go. It's World smaller. smallest. World smallest. It's like half the size. That's what she said. It's a transformer. <laughs> it's a transformer. 
But does it transform? Is it a grail? <laughs> it's a grail. That was wild. Um, so I was going to mention, uh, tomorrow night, uh, we're not going to do Atch My Walk because Rob is not, uh, is not available. So sorry guys. Um, and, uh, we are also going to be moving the, uh, main show actually to Monday nights at 830 central, 930 Eastern. So, uh, we're going to put an announcement up on the page, but, uh. Yeah, it'll be it'll be the same time just the night before. So, uh, so we're gonna kind of alternate uh, between live and pre-recorded shows, uh, just to kind of ease up on everybody's schedules and all, all that type of thing. So, uh, let us know what you guys think uh, with the new time, if that works better for you know the audience and, and whatnot as well. Um, so, Peter just joined at the very end. Oh, there you go. Oh. Hi, Peter. Hey, Peter. Thanks for coming. So, yeah. So, there we go. I don't know if my comments are on, like, are on a delay. Did he make a comment, or? Nope, he just joined. Oh, I see. Okay. So, yeah, I don't actually have a list of, like, who's who's in the chat So on my program, so. Anyway. Well, All I'm right. looking forward to the new time slot for TFYLP. I think that'll be cool. Yeah, yeah no. Some more interaction. I think it'll, it'll be, it, you know, I think a good change. And a move, who knows, down the road, I mean, we, I know we change it kind of every once in a while. It used to be on Saturday nights, and, you know, it's been Sundays for a little bit. So try and move it around and see, see what uh, works best for everybody. So, but microcaster right. is staying on Tuesdays. We'll see yes. you next Tuesday. Yep. All right. See you next Tuesday. Well, next Monday. I what guess, for did you just say? What? See you next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Bedroom buddies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, have a good night, everyone. I'll talk to you later. Wait, wait. What? Lucas, do you not realize what you said? You said, what? see you next Tuesday. We don't need to p- point it out. Well, uh, all right. All right.